out to go at it. Here's your tail the tape, Pantoja 29, Davison Figueredo is 31. Both fighters five foot five inches tall, both fighters successfully making weight. Slight half inch reach advantage for Figueredo. All right, now for the introductions, we say hello to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Rogers Place in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada for UFC 240, Holloway versus Edgar. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, one loss. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Suare Para Brazil, presenting the number four ranked flyweight contender in the world, Davis on Dos Figueroa Figueiredo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 21 wins, three losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of a high real do Cabo, Brazil, presenting the number three ranked flyweight contender in the world, Alexandre the Cannibal Pantoja. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, third man in the octagon for this one. The great Ariane Celeste is here. Thank you, AC. Alessandre Pantoja is here. He's a minus 135 betting favorite tonight. Against the plus right, 105 sir, dog, sir. Davison go, Figueredo, who while acknowledging Pantoja's improvement, said he does not expect that Pantoja will want to strike with him tonight. We shall see. Pantoja's in black, Figueredo's in yellow. Well, I think the, the thinking is that Pantoja's got a big advantage on the ground. And whether or not he can strike with him, why would he want to if he has that advantage? Right. Now, I think Pantoja has some extreme confidence in his striking skills, particularly coming off of that stoppage victory over Wilson Hayes. But we're going to find out. Pantoja, longtime Nova Uniao staple, now training at American Top Team. Figueredo looking very good on his feet, though, super confident and, and presenting a very unique stance, stretching out that left hand and showing that big right hand behind it. And there he goes to the body with it. Figueredo with great head movement, too, just getting slightly out of the range of those punches, but he ate a good knee to the body there by Pantoja. And Figueredo's got a point to prove after that last fight. Nice reactive takedown there. Beautiful takedown. Figueredo has such good head movement. He just sees those punches coming. But here we are on the ground. Pantoja working from his guard. He has an excellent guard, a very offensive guard, but he's unable to control the posture right now of Figueredo, and that's critical. He's got to be able to pull Figueredo down in order to do anything, unless he's going to attack the legs. So right now, Figueredo's looking to try to pass, but he's, he, he might get caught in an omoplata here from the bottom, in which case he could get reversed. Nope, good defensive skills. Oh, Pantoja just missed on an up kick, but was able to raise the guard as Figueroa threw that right hand as they got back to the feet. And look at Figueroa's stance, so, so unusual. Extended left hand and just showing him the right hand. Here it comes, here it comes. And that's what I think Pantoja needs more of. Kick those legs, kick that body. Don't let him stand in front of you with that stance. Nice job. Oh, oh man. there's that big right hand. And he caught the left, left as well. And then Figueredo changes the level of his strikes, goes to the body. Figueredo looking very calm. Look how comfortable he is with distance. Yeah. How aware he is of where Pantoja's punches are coming from. That's the seasoned striker. And that's why he didn't think Pantoja would want to strike with him. And Figueredo's last fight. Oh, beautiful land right below that elbow. Nice shuffle moving in, too, to disguise what he's going to attack with. Pantoja's eating oh, a lot of big he, shots. Oh, he cracked him with that right hand there, John. Figueredo is in a serious zone here three minutes in. Oh, 
counter right behind the ear, lands for Pantoja, but man, Figueroa's throwing with power. Yeah, he's throwing some heat, and Pantoja's face is already busted up. His nose is starting to bleed. He's looking for the takedown, but he might... He's, look at that beautiful job by Pantoja. Now, he's decided to try to take this to the ground. This is his forte, and this is where he shines, particularly on top. Look at this, Figueredo popped out of there. Beautiful explosion and timing by Figueredo to get out of there. Next Saturday, August 3rd, UFC Fight Night is live on ESPN. The Prudential Center in Newark will be our host venue. Welterweight showdown between Colby Covington and ruthless Robbie Lawler. Special matinee start time, 12 o'clock Eastern for the prelims. Get your tickets today at Ticketmaster.com. What a fight that is. Cool. Covington versus Lawler next weekend. That came up quick. Yeah, it really did. Pantoja resets under a minute now to go in the round. Figueredo was dealing with a lot of injuries going into that Juicy A Formiga fight. Oh, man! He's so good with timing. He's getting away from that punch and snapping his right hand in there. And you look at the face of Pantoja. He is taking some punishment. And he's making his intentions clear now. He wants to get this fight to the ground. He's staying on the outside. He's not trying to rush in, but he's looking for those clinch opportunities. There it is, looking to duck under. He goes high with that kick. Yeah. Oh, but he ate a right hand there himself. Oh! Man, Pantoja's got a fearlessness in that pocket, but getting all he can handle from Davis and Figueredo in this opening round. Man, look at these flyweights. These guys are title shot chasing tonight. Round two, Pantoja Lake. Let's take a look at some of these brutal shots from Davison. Davison Figueredo with this really unusual style, but look at the timing and the speed. This right hand he landed here and the left behind it. There's a nice left hand, moves away, boom, throws the right, and fighting with his hands down, this crazy style. Look at this, boom! That pull and fire. Let's go, let's go! Very, very impressive striking from Davis and Figueredo. Well, this week, the Sunday Night Baseball crew is at Fenway Park for the finale of a four-game set between the American League East leading Yankees and the Red Sox, who continue to try to chase down the Bronx Bombers. Coverage begins at 6 Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app with baseball tonight, Sunday Night Countdown. All right, round two here. Figueredo out of the southpaw stance is in yellow. Pantoja pressing forward in black. Yeah, interesting that Figueredo started off southpaw. He was having such a good result from the orthodox stance with that extended left hand. Nice inside leg kick. Nice short shot there from Figueredo. Good entry from Pantoja, but nothing doing. Figueredo 4-0 in the UFC when he secures at least one takedown, which he did in round one against Pantoja. Again switched, yeah. again switched southpaw. Now you think about all those brutal right hands that he threw in that first round. Let's keep an eye on that hand, because he very well may have heard it. We see him reluctant to fight in that stance, and now he's throwing kicks instead of that big punch. Let's keep an eye on his right hand. Figueredo using his athleticism and quickness to get back to his feet after a nice right hand land by Pantoja. See a little mouse on the right side of the forehead of Davison Figueredo. See, he steps in with the elbow, no right hand. Pantoja starting to find his range a little bit now. And again, kicks. He 
it there to the body. Pantoja looking a lot more comfortable on the feet here, two minutes into round two. Well, Figueredo isn't stinging him in this round the way he was in that first round. Wow! Great lands by Pantoja! Wow, exchanges here. Two truly elite flyweights putting on a great fight here as we cross the midpoint now. Oh, beautiful left jab. Just stopped him in his tracks. Kind of a halfway check hook jab. So we have seen Davison Figueredo's volume wane here in round two. Nice inside leg kick. Perhaps you're onto something with that right hand. He's been a little bit reluctant to throw it here. Definitely not with the reckless abandon he was throwing it in the first round. And even there, like, it's almost like he's reluctant to let it loose. Hand fighting now, Pantoja able to get away. And even there from the break, throws the elbow instead of the right hand. Huh. Beautiful takedown from Pantoja. Now this is his position. He's fantastic from the top, but look at that. Great athleticism by Davison. The speed with which these fighters execute these techniques is really a sight to behold. If you're looking at this live, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah, that's one of the beauty, beautiful things about the flyweight division is they're not, they're not hampered by gravity. Yeah. See a little cut now to the left of the eyebrow of Davison Figueredo, who continues to switch up that footwork. And continues to be very stingy with that right hand. He tried it there, but just not having not having the success like he did in that first round. Yep. But you gotta think of how many times he bounced it off of Pantoja's head. Yeah. It's so common for fighters to break their hands. These little tiny gloves just don't offer much protection. Right. We saw it with Alex Caceres last week. Nice jab there from Figueredo. And an even better left hook. Ooh. Oh, nice elbow. Beautiful elbow there. And a nice check left hook. Oh, man. man. Great exchanges here. Oh, he landed the right hand there. Oh, he got it to Figueredo. Final seconds of the round. Pantoja in trouble. Woo. What an end of the round for Davison Figueredo. Wow, 10 minutes in the can. The next five are yours wow. after this. And here we see this right hand to the temple. Look at that left hand. Davison Figueredo, there's the big one on the jaw. Finishing out that second round very, very strong. All right, round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. As you might expect, the early arrivers here, early arrivals in Edmonton enjoying what they have seen thus far. A hugely important five minutes in terms of this flyweight division. 
Nice short elbows from Figueredo. Yeah, the body. Excellent elbows in the clinch by Figueredo. And Pantoja trying to secure that Muay Thai clinch. Good knees to the body by Pantoja. Back to the center. Figueredo continues to keep those hands low. Pops that jab out there. Certainly a hand speed advantage for Davis and Figueredo. Well, an efficiency advantage with his striking, too. Oh, oh beautiful man. timing with that right hand. There's an elbow and another elbow. Boy, he's showing all of his skills here. Beautiful elbow work from Figueredo. Oh, big right from Pantoja. Oh, step in elbow again. Man, Pantoja showing all the heart you'd like to see from the elite fighters. But he has absorbed some massive shots here tonight. Big ground and pound from Figueredo. And Pantoja's busted up. He attempted to secure a leg there, but at least used that to get back to his feet. Well, 40 combined pro fights for these two men coming in, and neither has been finished prior. Both guys proving to be very hard to put away tonight as we come up on three minutes to go. F Pantoja's face is a horror movie right now. Oh, man. And you see Figueredo just moving perfectly out of range, but threatening, fainting, showing him the left hand, showing him the right hand. There's that pop and jab. There's a much, much more seasoned striker. Now, that's what I would like to see more of from Pantoja. Attack those legs. I mean, right. take away some of this movement because he's able to so freely move back and forth. Beautiful takedown and full mount by Davison. And now desperation time for Alessandre Pantoja. But he has taken some punishment in this fight. And he wears it on his face. Tried to hip escape there, but Figueredo keeping him planted. Now Pantoja back to his feet. And pressing forward as if he needs a finish. Step in elbow. Yeah. And really, there it is again. And another one. Man. Oh my God, he's just slicing Incredible. him up. And he's, he's slicing it past his face. Like he's rubbing it across the face, which is what causes those nasty cuts. Well, largely everything Figueredo said before this fight has played out that he would have a decided striking advantage. That he Look was at healthy. That Matador movement. Yeah. I mean, that is exactly how he's doing it. He's just, just getting just out of the range of those punches, moving his head just enough, and defending that takedown nicely. Pantoja running forward, trying to get his offense going. Time is running out. Nice takedown defense from Davison Figueredo. He has stuffed eight of 10 shots from Pantoja tonight. You mentioned those short elbows from Figueredo. He once knocked a guy out with just a straight on back of the fist back in the day. Incredible efficiency and accuracy on the feet tonight. And, and range and awareness is equally impressive. Just knows where he can get hit and how to move just enough out of the way. And has Pantoja chasing him now. But Pantoja, well aware he's behind in this fight, trying to make something happen. Oh! Landed a good left hand of his own. He did. And a right hand there. Pantoja trying to rally late. Look at this. Giving Figueredo something to think about. Yet another outstanding showcase for the UFC men's flyweight division tonight as Alessandre Pantoja and Davison Figueredo go the distance here in Edmonton.
beautiful elbow there from Davison and a glancing right hand from Pantoja. And there's that snapping jab from Figueredo. And here's, look at this uppercut. Boom, perfect timing. Oh, man. Pantoja can take a shot, I'll tell you that. 68% striking accuracy for Davison Figueredo tonight. The official decision coming your way next from Edmonton.